Hello, I'm Dr. Bobby Peterson here for New York City Cosmetic and General Dentistry with Dentist to the Stars, Dr. Catrice Austin. We have a few questions from yeah. our Facebook. Bring it on. I love these All questions. Right. Now, you know, the most popular questions we get are about whitening. Yes, everybody you know, wants a whiter smile. Everyone, especially with celebrities, and we see how bright the smiles of celebrities are. Um, but this question um, comes from Karen. And it is, what methods are available for whitening teeth? Karen, that is a good question. Thank you so much for sending that one. Well, there are three methods. And I actually talk about this on uh, my website, on my book that you can download on teeth whitening. It is um, called? It is called The Ultimate Smile I Guide. Love that. The <laughs> Ultimate Smile Guide. I love that name. Um, so get that free book on my website, vipsmiles.com. Shameless plug. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> uh, some methods. There are three, yes. okay? Uh, the first is over the counter. You go to the grocery store, you see that big long toothpaste aisle, mm -hmm. you see all the strips in the trays and all of that stuff. The toothpaste um, so you can do it at home over the counter usually those products that you have over the counter are for maintaining not going to get the brightest smile by using them as your sole uh, whitening method unless mm -hmm. your teeth really aren't that yellow okay mm -hmm. so over the counter and then option number two is going to be in-office professional take-home that means that we can uh, make bleaching trays for you give you the whitening gel you take it home brush your teeth put it in the tray wear the trays usually for up to 45 minutes and do that for a series of three to seven days and you will see the results it gives you the control mm -hmm. um, it's more cost effective than doing it the next method which is the one hour in office mm -hmm. and you can reuse those trays as long as you don't make any major changes to your teeth you can reuse those whitening trays and just buy the touch-up gel mm -hmm. every year and a half to two years mm -hmm. and then option three the one that most New Yorkers who don't have a lot of time do <laughs> is the one hour whitening and there's different methods you've heard of zoom and there's that's with a laser the laser the yeah the light yeah. still one of the most popular ways opalescence there's a few different brands that all do the same thing use a high power peroxide gel mm -hmm. and you literally sit here for 45 minutes to an hour, walk out, voila, teeth are white. But you may need more than one session, right? You may, so every, first, I'm glad you said that because mm -hmm. not everybody is a candidate for whitening mm -hmm. and whitening does not work for everybody, everybody. the same way. Right. So that's where, you know, we try whitening first. Mm -hmm. We might try it a second time. If it doesn't work, that's when you need to think about upgrading to veneers where mm -hmm. we can permanently whiten your teeth. Mm -hmm. um, but there are certain cases, and you know, we can talk about this soon, uh, where it just is not the best option. So mm -hmm. usually one session, might give it a second in-office session. Mm -hmm. If that does not work, then just know that will upgrade and we'll tell you the you know when you come in for your consultation we'll tell you you know the likelihood of success and give you a prediction mm -hmm. but again this is a highly unpredictable procedure so it's kind of like I like to tell people you uh, dyeing your hair you know coloring your hair okay you hope to get to that color that's on the box because right. you may or may not it <laughs> might turn out a different color it's a great so it's very very unpredictable but usually we can get the job done